My friends, the time has come for me to cook meat yet again. And today, I will be attempting to cook chicken breasts using a very generic online recipe my mom sent me. Over here, I've got everything I think I'll need. Chicken breasts, poundy hammer boy, because this is necessary for some reason. A whole bunch of spices and whatnot. And I think I've got some butter and maybe other things in the refrigerator as well. So, let's get into it. Step one is to open the chicken. How do I do this one-handed? Well, first, let's grab a knife. I don't know what any of these knives are, so I'm gonna grab this one at random. Let's puncture this here. All right, we've got a hole. All right, I'm gonna dump it. Now, I guess I get rid of fat like this, I assume, and veins or whatnot. So this is not, oh, there we go. One-handed is not a very efficient way to do this. You chicken will relinquish your fat to me. There we go. Oh boy, that's that one down. I say cutting the fat is way too painful. Good enough, we're done. We're done with that. Now I've gotta open this. We have this positioned in a very safe way to put, no we don't. Come on. Ho, 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 ho. We're gonna pound it now. So you just kinda, what is this achieve? Now we have to open this up and pat these dry, I guess. All right, well, all right, we're gonna pat dry, I guess. I, have, I, I feel like they're still gonna be very slimy. I think they've been patted. The next step, I believe, was to add seasonings and whatnot. And I think that started with melted butter using that thing. Let's take a little bowl here. Do I have any butter? Here's some butter. All right, now how much do we use? Let's get like half of it maybe. There we go, let's grab this one, put it in here. Let's just do one minute and see what it is after that. It's like 30 seconds or so in and maybe, maybe this is enough. Yeah, okay, that was more than enough. So I guess we just dip it in here, go over here and start doing this. I don't know how this, this works. This doesn't seem like there's very much, uh, much butter going on to the thing. Oh man, I'm gonna have to wash my hands so many times in between. Shots, okay. Flip. Flip. Now, we paint the rest of this. How much do I do? Is any butter actually going on the chicken? I don't know. I think this is probably good enough on the butter side. So that means it's time to consider the other things over there. All right, let's see what I got. I got oregano that I could use, pepper. The guide suggests pepper, so we'll use pepper. Other pepper, I guess. Seasoned salt. Ah, here's the paprika. Garlic salt. I think we'll go paprika, garlic salt, not seasoned salt. Uh, this, I don't know about oregano. Onion powder. I think this is our lineup of, of things I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on too many things. I'm gonna start with paprika. Then we're gonna do garlic salt, black pepper, whatever this is, and onion powder. For it with the paprika, I guess. Oh, this is not gonna be very even. Ah, sure, <laughs> sure, yeah. Garlic salt. All right, pepper. For what is this, onion powder? Okay, hopefully that was the right amount. Probably wasn't. Now, I guess I flip them, wash my hand, and then uh, put them on the other side. Cool, put it just in there. The thing also said potentially to do this for cleanup, so I'm just gonna, am I spraying right? Yeah. All right, hopefully, <laughs> I don't know if we needed that or if I, that ruins it, but hopefully not. All right, that's uh, good enough. Gonna wash my hands and then we put her in. 425 for 20 to 23 minutes. We'll be a little cautious and go 23. And now uh, we wait for it to preheat. 
Okay, preheating is done. It's time to put them in. I feel like it will probably not fit on the top rack. Oh! Oh no. Uh, alright, backup plan. Should have done this from the beginning. We're putting them in this, and then we're gonna put that in there. We'll do 22 minutes like it's got. Hopefully this ends up okay. A little sad about that guy, but I guess I gotta clean up now, and then I'll be back in like 22 minutes. The time has come to remove them from the toaster oven. How do I tell if they're done and if they're safe to eat? I do not know. It also says to give it like five minutes, so I guess I'll give it five minutes to, I don't know, chillax. All right, we're gonna take you out. They look okay, I think. I don't really know how to tell. Let's see. Oh, we hope this is done. We really, really hope. <laughs> I'm gonna take it back to the computer. It's time to partake in the meal I have created. And by meal, I mean two pieces of chicken. I don't think they look terrible, but I am a little worried if they're actually fully cooked or not. In terms of smell, the spices and whatnot are doing something. There's like a vague citrusy smell. It does just kind of smell like chicken as well. I'm gonna get a knife and I'm gonna cut this open and see if it's done. This is a ideal angle. Oh, this is a very moist, very, very moist. Man, the plate's kind of hot. All right, so this is what a cross section looks like. I think it's probably done actually, which is good. <laughs> I think it's time that I bite into my creation. Not bad, fairly moist. The seasoning is a little weird, slightly spicy. Oh. Well, I think my first big takeaway is that unlike when I cooked the first chicken, all right, hold on, immediate break. My hand is cramping. Oh, I have a better way to hold this. All right, we've repositioned. Anyway, back to what I was saying. When I had cooked the, the full chicken, and it was like herbs and spices or something, and I was like, it just tastes like plain chicken. This definitely does not taste just like plain chicken. I imagine that's because for this, there's a lot more surface area of skin, while the full chicken had a lot less surface area covered in herbs and spices or whatever. Overall though, I think this is actually quite good. It's not like a dried out or anything. The skin wasn't particularly tough, although on the outside edge here, it's a, a little bit tougher. As for the spices taste, that's something I've been trying to avoid mentioning. I don't think my taste buds are attuned enough to tell exactly what everything is, but it's definitely got a very slight heat spice. That sort of citrusy smell doesn't actually seem to be represented very much in the taste. The smell was very slight. One thing is it isn't exactly even. There are different uh, sections that are have a lot stronger tastes of each type. Or you can see here how this like top right part over here doesn't have much stuff on it. And the middle's got a bunch and there are like spots that have a whole bunch of one thing and not others. I do think it is better seasoned though. If I were to do it over, I might go for some specific taste with the seasoning instead of sort of picking several randomly, but it's all right. Overall, I'm gonna say this was a success. There is one thing I want to do before I give this a rating. This large section here, is this cooked? The skin around there is a little tough. Ah, I think it does look cooked all the way through. It sort of fell apart into two pieces here, but both of these, I think, do look cooked. There may be a slightly different texture than the other part of the chicken that I ate, but that could also just be that uh, I didn't really get much skin with that. So overall, I'm gonna say this was a success. And with that, I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. This was actually pretty good. I think if I were to make my ideal chicken thing, it would be uh, probably like some sort of chicken nuggets <laughs> or popcorn chicken or something along that line. Little small cut up breaded chicken meat. 
which is probably my favorite way of uh, eating chicken. I think this actually went pretty well. It did take me a little bit too long to figure out exactly what I was doing, but it wasn't too bad. I guess also before I, uh, I leave, I should mention, I probably had lunch like eight hours ago <laughs> by now. I'm really hungry, <laughs> so that might have tainted my opinion on this uh, quite a bit, to be honest, <laughs> but it is what it is. Thank you for watching. See ya. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this outro, I thought I'd let you guys know that I'm not feeling too hot right now. Kinda got a bit of a headache, got kind of the chills, feel a little tingly, achy all over. Kind of the stuff I think that's indicative of uh, your body going to war and starting to get sick. Hopefully that resolves itself by tomorrow, in case it doesn't, because I've been trying to get out two videos a week instead of one. If that doesn't happen, this is probably why. Now, uh, the elephant in the room, did the chicken cause this? I don't think so. It is currently Sunday as of me recording this, Sunday night, and I ate the chicken on Friday night. So I doubt it would have taken this long for me to start getting sick, but maybe, who knows? Anyway, hopefully I feel better. Thank you for watching. See ya.